Okay, let's continue now. Um, software questions next. Okay, opening. Here we go. All right. Um, let's shrink this down a little bit. Okay. For the following exercise, find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of the given equation at the indicated point. Okay. Okay. Let's see now. Okay, x power 4 y minus x y cubed equals minus 2. Okay, now let's see, how could I do this in this software? Um, of expression for y. And uh, differentiate. And uh, sub in minus one. No, actually I don't need to differentiate. Yeah, and then it's tangent of number three at minus one. Hmm. Now oh, that didn't work. Okay. Let's try tangent number one when x is minus one mm, don't think that's working no 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 i might i'll have, might have to look this up just a second okay i think i found out how to do it on the software here so we have to use a function called implicit diff of the equation one at um, minus one minus one, okay? Minus one minus one first derivative. And then the equation is y minus y one equals m times x minus x one. Um, looks like it if I zoom in mm. is it a tangent here Doesn't quite look like it, does it? You know what I might have to do? I might have to check it manually. Let's see. X power four y minus x y cubed equals minus two so that's four x cubed times y 
plus x power 4 dy dx minus y cubed minus 3xy squared dy dx equals 0 dy dx equals y cubed minus 4x cubed y over x4 minus 3xy squared minus 1 minus 4 over 1 plus 3 uh, to 4 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 yeah minus 5 over 4 let's try this again a bit better okay let me let me play around with this a little bit to see if i can fix it well i've been messing about with it and i think i nearly have it here maybe it just doesn't like the equal zero i can get rid of that then if i yeah yeah it doesn't like it as an equation Whoops. Yeah, okay, now it's now it's working. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Mm, that looks better and yeah, minus five or four. Okay, so I, I think we can continue now. I think we're we're in action. Okay. X squared Y squared plus five XY minus fourteen equals zero. And then two one. Two, one. Two, one. Now we have y minus y one equals m times x minus x one. Oops. Oh yeah. To apply like needs to be an equation. Uh yep, looks like a tangent of two one. I wonder what would have happened if I had this equal to zero. Oh yeah, no. Oh no, I didn't quite get it. Yeah, it gets a bit confused for some reason. Okay, there we go. That one's working. Uh, tan xy equals minus y equals zero. Pi over four and one. What if I try to put the values for x and y in directly here? No, it doesn't like that. Yeah, okay. Pi over 4 and 1. Okay, y minus 1 equals the slope uh, 
and then x minus pi over 4. Uh, looks like a tangent there, doesn't it? Of pi over 4, 1. Okay. Next one. Um, xy squared plus sine pi y. Minus 2 x squared minus 10. Okay. And then 2 minus 3. Okay. Y minus minus 3 equals x, uh, slope times x minus 2. Okay, let's plot. Yep, that looks like a tangent. That's good. Right. Okay x over y plus 5x minus 7 plus 3 over 4y equals 0. Implicit derivative um, 1, 2. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. y plus sine x minus 1, pi over 2 and 0. Pi over 2 and 0. Pi over 2 and 0. Uh-oh. Let's try it out again. Y is 0. And X is pi over 2. Pi over 2 for X. And Y is 0. Mm, it's going to be 0, huh? Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Yeah, it's the x axis. Okay, that's good. And then the last tech question the graph uh, of a volume of the carts with equation given is below. Find the equation of the tangent line at the point 2, 1. Graph the tangent line. Find the normal. Okay. Two x cubed plus two y cubed minus nine x y equals zero. Okay. Implicit derivative of one x y. Okay, and 
the tangent and the normal at 2, 1. Okay, so the tangent be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, there's the tangent one. And then the normal. So that's y minus y1 equals minus 1 over the slope x minus 2. Okay. Now let's try and... There we go. Get it looking a bit more perpendicular by the scale. I think that that's it taken care of. And then we're back to non-tech questions and then tech and non-tech. Okay, how are we doing for time? Yeah, okay, maybe that's a good place to leave it for today. Um, up to 316. Yeah. And then this is manual now for some reason. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so up to 316 then. All right, we'll leave it there for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.